What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and right now we're going to be talking about how you can get the chocolates in Madden 24 Ultimate Team and also how you're going to be able to find those secret egg locations and in addition to that we're going to talk about the free 97 overall Tariq Woolen. So for those of you guys that are new to the game and you don't understand what's going on with all of these things and the secret locations, you're pretty much going to have to go daily to either X for G Myers World or watch the live streams to know where they are. But just so you guys have a heads up, the first one is going to be found in part three of um, the Ultimate Legends under Steve Smith Sr. You're going to see the question marks with the eggs and that's going to be where the secret locations are for like the specific parts of where the egg baskets are. So Steve Smith Sr. for Ultimate Legend, that's the first one. And yes, you can go back and do it while the promo is live. I believe that all of them will be removed at some point, probably after Easter at some time, but that's going to be part one. And then the second one was part of Team of the Year, all right? And then that's going to be, I believe, um, the Josh Allen, which is going to be over here. So you'll see the actual symbolism. I'm going to show you the actual baskets and what you actually obtain from them. Um, I would probably just wait, though. You don't need to open them to see what's actually going on. You could wait until the 31st. It'll let you know on the actual basket when it will, you know, actually open up. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly because I did not... Um, you know open them yet but here goes the two that you get from the actual um you know the secret locations so one of the, this is like a mystery one and then i got this one one of the simple one of the simple baskets or whatever everything else that goes on within the game you're gonna have to probably waste a lot of your time doing house rules which i don't recommend but we're gonna go over it anyway because some of you guys are just psycho enough to do it i played through one season and I think based on the math and my chat, like double checking me, you get about 2,050 chocolate currency. I believe that's what you get. You guys can double check it again or triple check it and let me know in the comments, but it's about 2,050. I know you get 1,000 for winning the Super Bowl. So pretty much it's like eight games to go through and it's a lot of, it, it, it can be excruciating if your opponent doesn't quit the game. So if you guys wanna go through that and do it, that's up to you. It's not an easier house rule. So you can spend a lot of time doing that. And um, like I said, do I recommend it? Probably not. I went through that one season. I'm probably going to be better off spending 600K to get 9,500 uh, chocolate currency, which I showed you guys. I believe I posted it for you guys on X yesterday, but I'll show you again. Uh, where is it? The 98 that I got right here. So when I completed the set, right, 9560, you get these chocolates. You can go into the store and get the baskets. Some of you guys are talking about the Harold Carmichael that's going to be, you know, he's going to be one of those secret, like, elite limited uh, eggs that's going to be out there. Um, also, it's going to be a, um, a Teddy Hendrix. If you're looking to try to do that, I would probably say in order to not waste time, just spend the 600K, convert it to chocolates, and do it that way. That's probably the fastest way to do it. If you guys have any other way that's faster, let me know. But based on everything that EA Sports has been giving us, it's a lot of time to do it when I can just tell you guys to just go into the store and just do it like or, you know, use one of my set videos and um, put together the sets and then just sell the 88s. Just do it like that. I mean, the 98s. Just don't don't play the house rules unless you have a high threshold for pain. That's all I'm going to recommend, bro, because it was really, really wild. And a lot of people in there, they'll just keep the game going. The game just never stops until somebody's up by 30 or you finish the whole game and it starts in the third quarter. So that's up to you. But inside of the shop right here, I think the goal, right, if you were going to be playing, uh, you know, through the field pass and doing everything with the challenges and getting the secret egg locations and all of that, is to probably get 12,500 to get a free 600K right there with the 98 overall uh, sugar, you know, the sugar, what is that? Sugar Rush? Uh, fantasy champ right there. Do I recommend the BND? Only if... They give us a card that's worth it. Right now, all of them are pretty much, you know, up in the air. I don't think any one of them are good except for the um, the actual player I just showed you because he gets zero AP uh, inside stuff and no outsiders, the, uh, the D end. So that's pretty much it. Other than that, the cards are not really that good. So I wouldn't really recommend that. Uh, if you come all the way over here, I just want to point this out as well. For those of you that are looking to get the free Trayvon Walker, you do get two here. Everything else is going to be through the field pass. So if you wanted the additional two, you can use the chocolate to do that there. These are the eggs that I'm specifically talking about. Now, inside of these, you can gamble however you want. You know, if you get the limited, you get the limited. What do I think EA is going to do? Like, bro, it's going to be some people out there that are very, very upset. That's all I'm going to say. Because if you do this, right, and you do the math, that's 9,800. You get 95. 
uh, from you know doing the actual method that I just showed you and quick selling the 98. So you would have to spend 600K or put together the set to make the card and then quick sell it. And you have to do that at least twice to get two of these. So whatever, whatever you wanna invest in, that's on you. Some of you guys were asking, okay, so would, would you go with the mystery baskets? Well, obviously with the way that this is set up, we kinda know what EA is gonna do with this, right? We're not gonna get a lot of good stuff out of that. You know, I've already did, I, I've done one earlier because I had to do the field pass. And um, that's, I'll get to that in a second because that's how we were able to complete uh, the Woolen really quickly. Uh, we had to do something within the store to get some more XP. But I don't really trust the Mystery Basket. It's up to you guys if you want to do it. But I have to show you so that you know exactly the way that it's going. But again, do, have I seen people pull Limiteds from it? Yes. But it's like one in, one in a thousand chance, bro. And it's all over social media, but it's very, very rare. Um, obviously, this would be the easiest way to get one of the limiteds, like the Carmichael or the Teddy Hendrix, but it's a lot of chocolate. So that's up to you guys how you want to rock that. All right. So if you want to go house rules, about 2000 a season, you can buy the card for 600 k quick sell it for 9, 95, uh, 9580 or whatever that is. Or you can do my set method, which I showed you yesterday on how you can complete any 98 overall for free um, and then do the set uh, that's found inside here. And that, that's pretty much the best way to get chocolate. There's literally no other way that's gonna do it. Um, but again, in order to save you time, I would probably, I would just say, just spend, you know, just spend the money. Spend the money and just get, you know, whatever it is and then quick sell it and do it that way and try to, try to pull a limited egg. Because what's gonna happen is those cards are gonna be 99s, but I don't know what their chemistries are gonna be and I don't know what their X factors are gonna be. So it's gonna still be a toss up. But many of you guys go crazy over Teddy Hendrix anyway, because he's 6'7 or whatever. So you guys are going to want that card. Go ahead, gamble if you want. But it's going to cost you 600k per 98 to be converted over to the chocolate. All right? Now, let's get over into the... Um, I'm going to show you the picture earlier. I posted it over on X. If you guys are following me on social media, you would have saw it already. So inside of this pack, I got a free Tariq, uh, Tariq Woolen, right? And once you hit a certain mutt level, you're going to be able to get the fourth token. Now, the season five tokens, like I told you, in season four, we made a mistake and I fixed it. And I explained to you guys why it was a mistake. And then we all did the right thing. If you guys have been part of G Myers World, you guys already know where I'm going with this, right? Within the season, within the season pass, you're going to see that the four tokens go ahead and they give you that 97 overall. So this one right here, this set right here, this gives you the nine, a choice of 97 overall for free. Out of everybody in that pack, Tariq Woolen is by far the best card. Okay, so that's how you get the free token. And this is just grinding the game. This is a W. This is actually a W from EA because I almost spent 1.5 million coins on Tariq Woolen yesterday. And because I didn't, I was patient, I got him for free. So you just have to grind through the field pass to get this done. Many of you guys should be very close to that already. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go over to the live events right here, let you guys see where the fourth one is. I believe that it's level 36. Is that level 36? Yeah, so it's at level 36. So once you get over there, um, you should be able to, right now they've updated all of the dailies not tracking. So you should be able to get this done relatively quickly. I had to go the route of doing the sugar rush because they didn't have that week four at the time that I did it. But regardless of the situation, right here is where we are and we just grinded through the objectives. And then this gave us a ton of XP for you know the actual field pass and we were able to get the, you know, the actual mutt level XP to get everything that we needed. Everything else that's here, we don't really care about other than the XP, but that's how I was able to get that free 97. Now, if you're saying to yourself, you don't know if the grind is worth it, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly why it is. Tariq Woolen is end game, which means that any, any other card that you pick for free, you'll be making a mistake. Just take a look at what he gets right here, right? Because of the way that the combine worked, you get after nine plays unstoppable um, you know, reinforcement. This is better, in my opinion, than uh, the universal coverage because this will help them get off blocks and do a lot of other things. Not, not only that, right? He gets zero AP pick artists. So you're pretty much, after nine plays, he's just outrageous. If you want to spend a one AP and you prefer, uh, prefer universal coverage because you run man, that's fine. I never run man, so I don't care about it, but that's up to you. But look at his numbers, 98, 98 Excel, 99 speed, and 6'4". So you guys can get that for free if you want it. I just showed you how to do that. I talked to you guys about the chocolate currency. 
and obviously you know the secret locations of the first you know couple days if you have any other questions or comments hit me up i'm gonna see you guys and girls next time enjoy your weekend until next time one love y'all